guys welcome back to my channel today I have a Sephora haul slash Jaclyn Hill Becca collaboration on the champagne glow collection I'm so so excited to open these boxes that I have sitting at my desk um, I ordered everything in the collection except the champagne pop Poured. But the only thing that I'm still waiting on, which is so frustrating, is the Shimmering Skin Perfector, the liquid version of Champagne Pop. And I'm so annoyed because I saw like on UPS's website or whatever, mine was actually delivered and it's been in the Nashville UPS store since the 27th. And right now I'm filming, it's June 2nd. And so it's been there for about a week. It's been in Nashville for about a week and I'm so annoyed because I'm like, why the heck it should have gone here Tuesday with my other two packages that I ordered and it's not here. So I'm literally waiting any second for it to get here today. Um, but I'm so excited to get that because that's one of the more exciting things I've been waiting for with the collection because I don't actually have any of the liquid shimmering skin perfectors. I just have the pressed ones. I do have like a little small sample size of the opal shimmering skin perfector i can't wait to get that because i'm going to be mixing it in my foundation and doing all sort of cool things with that if it doesn't come until maybe tomorrow then i'm probably gonna just fit that clip in tomorrow but for right now i can't wait any longer i've waited for two days to open these packages and i can't wait any longer i, I just can't do it and i want to get this video up so i'm gonna go ahead and jump right in and open these boxes for you guys to show you and i also want to say thank you so much to those of you that suggested tv shows for me to start watching um i had a few of you guys definitely suggest some things on netflix for me to watch and i thank you so much i'm gonna be starting those series definitely so um i appreciate you guys letting me know that's awesome i love getting your suggestions you guys have the best suggestions thank you so much for that i wanted to do like an unboxing slash swatches slash first impression demo sort of video for you guys and there's a couple other things that i got from sephora in store the other day that i'm really excited that i just want to show you guys in this video as well so and here this is oh my gosh so this is the face palette i didn't even know which one i was opening first but this is the face palette that I kind of wanted to show first. The packaging is so pretty. It's white and gold, which are like my favorite colors ever. Like everything in my room is pretty much white. And I love it. Ooh. So it's very, very pretty. It's got like a metallic sort of print on it you can tell that it's really packaged really nicely Ooh, we each get a backlight priming filter which i've actually thought about um purchasing the primer but i just haven't um because i didn't really know how good it was but it's so pretty you get like the little thing that you peel off oh so beautiful Woo! okay so a little paper just fell out so you open it up Ooh, it's so pretty. This mirror is bomb. Oh my gosh, I have lipstick all in my teeth. I hope that you guys didn't see that. Way to double check your teeth before you film, Emily. So pretty. So it's kind of hard to show you guys on camera because of the reflection. This is Champagne Pop right here, which has already been out. And then this is um, the Prosecco Pop. This really bright shade right here is called Pamplemousse. And then this one right here is called Amaretto in the middle which this one i've been so excited about for blush and then this last one is rose spritz rose spritz my bad um but yeah i'll give you guys up close swatches of these guys here so so this is um champagne pop right here it's so pretty it's like a nice champagne glow you guys know it's like my favorite highlighter i use it all of the time this is prosecco pop so Prosecco Pop is this one right here. It's a little bit more gold. It's so beautiful. This formula is like the best formula that I've ever used ever for highlighter. Ooh. So that's Pamplemousse or however you say that. It's a nice corally pink blush. It's very, very, very pigmented and very bright. Next we have Amaretto, which I'm the most excited about. I've been like debating on and off to get Wild Honey from Becca. And I feel like this kind of looks like it right here, but that's Amaretto. It's like a very nice, warm, like kind of glowy, peachy brown sort of blush. It's so pretty, like so gorgeous. And then the next one is Rose Spritz. Ooh, that is so pretty. That's Rose Spritz right there. That's Rose Spritz. It's so 
gorgeous. Obsessed. Obsessed. Like, these are all beautiful colors. I w the only one that I wasn't, like, obsessed with when I saw, like, videos and reviews and stuff was the um, Pamplemousse, just because it's so bright, and I like more muted colors for blush, because I don't like anything too overpowering, but it's still so pretty. Like, all you need is just a tiny bit, and it'll be so good like so amazing so pigmented and the mirror is actually amazing the mirror is a really really great quality the, I, I love the packaging but I can tell that like I'm gonna get it super messy with all my fingerprints and everything it's already got like fingerprints all over it so that is kind of like something that's a little bit frustrating but it's still gorgeous like I wouldn't change it I still wouldn't change anything about it it is so beautiful I'm so so impressed and so excited to actually use this oh my gosh and I actually actually purposefully didn't do my highlight or blush now that I think of it I'm just not even thinking clearly because I'm going to do it right now for you guys just since Prosecco pop is new I'm going to use Prosecco pop and I'm going to apply it to my cheekbones oh my gosh so pretty oh yes come through baby come through Oh yes, so pretty, so pretty, I love it. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Love. So she said that they did the more gold tone like in Prosecco Pop because there was um, some complaints about people with some deeper skin tones that it the Champagne Pop looked too ashy on their skin. So she wanted to kind of be a little bit diverse and make sure that that catered to everyone, which is great. So now I'm going to apply my blush because I like to do my blush after my highlight. And I think I'm going to go with, um, hmm... I really want to go with amaretto like i'm just gonna go with amaretto even though it's like the more muted shade i'm just gonna go with it because that's what i love Ooh, so pretty oh my gosh i love it love oh my gosh i'm obsessed i'm gonna be using this all summer long like already in love i know that i'm gonna love it because i already love becca's formulas and i have one of their blushes and i know that it's amazing um but it's really really pigmented they're so pigmented i feel like it's a great deal i mean i paid i want to say like 50 dollars for this i want to say but you're getting three blushes and two highlighters so it's really a great deal i'm sure they're like a little bit smaller than the normal size um, but that's okay. I mean, it's Jaclyn Hill and Becca. Come on, you have to do it. It's limited edition. And it's, she said it for sure was going to be limited edition. And she was not playing about that. So, yay. So the next thing that I have in the collection is the eyeshadow palette. I don't have any Becca cosmetic eyeshadows or anything like that. So I'm so excited to try it out. It's nice and gold, just like the other one. Um, the other one had like a white packaging sort of. This is like the size comparison if you guys want to see the size it's just a little bit longer it's got like the same sort of gold gunmetal sort of finish on it um there are five eyeshadows in this palette it's a very small palette oh so there's like a little piece of paper that comes out and it says the eyeshadow colors on it and then the eyeshadow colors are also on the back i love it when palettes have the like names of the shades on the back just so you can like identify them and tell other people like what they are and if you're doing a, a makeup tutorial or whatever this palette is absolutely gorgeous so this one right here is chardonnay it's like a nice um gold sort of shimmery color it'd be great for your brow bone highlight and it is like a nice goldish white sort of highlight shade it is so beautiful it's so so pretty nice and smooth texture really really buttery and like look how shiny and glistening that is it is so gorgeous this next one is champagne toast right here it's got like a little bit of coppery red golden sort of flex in it this is the shade that Jacqueline said that she worked on the most um so yeah I'm really excited to try that one I kind of wonder what I'm going to use for that because I'm not going to use it for a transition color or anything I'll probably do it for like a lid color like if I'm doing a cut crease or something, I'll probably do it for the lid. The next shade right here is the shade Cordial. This one's like a nice, pretty pinkish mauve sort of color. It's not as pigmented, but it's like kind of a matte sort of a satin color right here. This is Cordial right here. Really, really pretty. Like that'd be a gorgeous like transition color. Absolutely. It's so, so pretty. So this next one right here is Cognac. 
So this is cognac right here. Um, it's really pretty. It's like a nice pretty brown color. I feel like to be called cognac it needs like a little bit more red in it. Um, but I'm kind of glad that it doesn't because it'll be a little bit more um, useful. Like the fact that it's just like a, like a brown with just a hint of that reddish orange sort of tone and hue to it. Um, but it's so, so pretty. I'm so excited that they put a shade like this in this palette. It'll make it more um, usable, I feel like. The last one that we have right here is called Bordeaux. It's like a nice purplish brown shade. Um, I know that a lot of these are very neutral, but I'm so, so happy about that fact because, you know, neutrals are just so, they're so wearable. I keep saying usable and I'm really meaning to say wearable. Um, but yeah, this right here is Bordeaux. It's like a nice, I don't mean to be flicking you guys off. It's like a nice purplish brown color. It's very muted. It's not very bright or anything like that. Um, but these are all great neutral shades, as you can see. They're all very usable. Um, I kind of wish that they did a few more shades other than just five. Um, a few more mattes would have been nice, just because it's hard to work with um, so much shimmer. Um, but... I think it's definitely still usable. I wish they would have done like a matte, a matte white color just to set the lids. Um, but it's still really, really pretty. But yeah, it's still very gorgeous and I cannot wait to do an eyeshadow look with this. If you guys want to see a tutorial using the eyeshadows, then let me know and I will get that up right away for you guys. Um, I'm so excited to use them. And finally, the Shimmering Skin Perfector did come in the mail. So it's just like the normal packaging and everything. I absolutely love the packaging. It's so pretty. I feel like you get quite a bit of product in there. I wanna say, how much is it? It's 1.7 ounces, so I feel like that's a pretty decent amount. Um, but I'll show you guys kind of the first impression of it. So you can kind of see the formula. It is so pretty. This is great for mixing in your foundation if you want a luminous glow. It's also great if you want to kind of prime your pressed highlighter. I use that a lot. I do that method a ton and I absolutely love it. I feel like it gives it an extra glow. And if you want your highlight popping extra, you do this like under your powder highlight. It's like a primer and it's amazing. But it's also good to mix in your foundation. So I just want to show you guys what it looked like on my hand. It's definitely got like a peach sort of a hue to it, a lot like the pressed formula. Um, but it's so luminous and pretty and I love it. That's all for the Champagne Glow collection that I have. I do have the regular Champagne Pop, but that's been out for months and months, so I'm not gonna show you guys that. And I've showed it in like so many videos of me using it in tutorials and whatnot. So, um, so yeah, I'm not gonna show that one. Um, but I do have a couple other things that I did buy it for. If you guys want to see, then just keep watching. It's only a couple things, but I'm really, really excited about them. So I rarely ever shop in store at Sephora because I like to shop online. I think it's a lot quicker, easier, and I feel like there's a lot more available online. I was with my sister shopping on Memorial Day and she really wanted to go makeup shopping with me and help her like color match and all that kind of stuff for foundation and um, she wanted to get the Becca opal shade just because that was gonna go best with her skin tone. I went with her to the Sephora in Cool Springs Mall because I'm in the Nashville area. Um, Green Hills is a little bit closer to me but um, but we were just you know in Franklin so we went to the Cool Springs Mall and um, my girl Haley was working. Haley is my favorite Sephora employee that I have ever encountered. I just really really trust her opinions and um, I like to listen and see what she has to say. If she's ever there I always ask her opinion on something. I don't know I just I get like a kind of a stuck up vibe from most people that work at Sephora but she's like super sweet and genuine and she's really funny and sh she knows what she's talking about so I like to see her. If you're in the Nashville area or in Franklin or Brentwood or whatever go check out the Sephora in Cool Springs and go see Haley because she's just awesome. I was just like, I'm really into skincare. Like, do you know of anything new for skincare or something that I need to know about? Like, tell me what there is. And she was telling me about how she's now teaching some classes at Sephora. I guess they do these classes and I guess she was teaching about skincare and she said you will die when you see this product like she was like this is something that I've just been obsessing over and this is all I use to remove this girl's makeup during my class um, my model that I was using or whatever she was doing and um, I was like okay show me what it is show me show me and she pointed it out and she demonstrated it for me and she used like some concealer or something and she took it off and it all came right off and all she used was the Eve Lom cleanser bomb and I haven't used it yet I haven't even opened it because I was gonna wait for my um, for my video to show you guys so I could just add it in there 
and it comes in like this packaging and this is actually kind of pricey she warned me she was like this is pricey but it's so worth it and i was like okay well i've never used a cleansing balm before and she demonstrated it she just said amazing things about it and so i was like give it to me give it to me let me buy it here you go i didn't know how much it was it's actually 80 dollars, so it's quite expensive i normally wouldn't spend something like that but um but i trust her opinion so much that i just bought it so it comes like this Ooh, so I'm sure this has like little instructions or something on there. Um, I don't know what this is. I guess it's like a cleansing cloth or something. Looks like a cheesecloth or something. Um, it's the cleanser and it's in white packaging. I absolutely love the packaging because you guys know I love white. It actually matches the Jaclyn Hill stuff right here, which is kind of funny. She says it smells just like green tea, which it does. Nice and green. You guys can kind of see. It smells so fresh and so clean and um, you just take it into your hand and it just kind of melts and you rub it all over your face and all of your makeup so it's very extensive like a, it's a very extensive process it sounds like but yeah it's definitely pricey but i think it'll definitely be worth it if Haley says it's so good maybe i'll show you guys on snapchat if you guys want to see a like demo on snapchat or something or if you want to see a demo on camera i can definitely film a video showing you guys how it works um if you guys want to see it i think it'd be a cool idea to actually film myself using this and doing like a first impression or like a demonstration using this so if you guys want to see that let me know and i'll definitely get that up for you guys and another thing that i got that i've heard about is this bumble and bumble hairdresser invisible oil but i just got the little small one because i didn't really know if i was going to use it a lot or like it i feel like with hair products i start using them and i don't like go through the same thing over and over and over so i just got a small one and um i heard through jacqueline hill's sister rachel I don't know how to say her last name. I heard about this oil from her and she said it was amazing and she loved it. I use it today and I really like it a lot. Um, I know that oils are really good for your hair. It's good for softness and my hair feels nice and soft. That wraps up this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed and please give me a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. Um, like I always say, please let me know what you guys want to see next because I love to get your comments. Uh, your comments always make my day and I love them so much so don't forget to leave me comments uh, ask me questions if you want don't forget to follow me on snapchat and instagram and i hope that you guys have a great rest of your day thank you so much for watching bye guys